Our today's topic is about the fascia of upper limb. Okay, let me start the topic. Fascia. The first, uh, the word fascia means band or sheath of connective tissue. Its function is separates, encloses, stabilizes muscles and other internal organs yeah it means that it has a protective fun uh, functions so fascia can be classified into two types the fascia of upper limb first one is a superficial fascia is on the superficial surface of body and second one is deep fascia is the deepest uh, part is the deepest of the body now superficial fascia has two layers first one is the external fatty layer and second one is membrane deep membranous layer as we uh, we can see in this pic the uh, superficial fascia is here upper side is a superficial adipose and uh, reticular cuticus superficialis and down uh, or down of it is a uh, uh, inferior of superficial fascia is deep adipose tissue and behind it uh, multiple structures of deep fascias and loose connected tissues and muscles are here so here some difference between the deep and the superficial fascias. The first difference between the superficial fascia and deep fascia is that uh, superficial fascia consists of the loose connective tissues and the deep fascia consists of dense connective tissues. This one is the first difference between them. The superficial fascia consists of the loose connective tissues and the deep fascia consists of the dense connective tissues as this one is a deep fascia okay second difference between them is that superficial fascia is a part of skin while the deep fascia is not a part of skin and the superficial fascia has high extensibility means it has a high stretching property and while the deep fascia doesn't have a uh, uh, leg this property uh, it has a less extensibility less extensible uh, extensible uh, it doesn't contain fat and uh, while the superficial fascia contain fats okay that one is a deep fascia deep fascia its uh, main function it uh, actually is uh, directly attached to the bone uh, the tendon uh, uh, the it covers the tendons bone vessels bones if any uh, there is no tendon or cartilage there then deep fascia directly attached to the bone okay so our next topic is about a uh, pectoral fascia okay so what do you mean about the pectoral means it means the fascia above the pectoralis major mean pect and the pectoralis majors pect you can remember it by pect of pectoralis major and the pact of that fascia that it it means that the pectoral fascia encloses covers the pectoralis major so it is attached to the clavicle and sternum uh, that is a manibrum and we can say it a uh, sternum and that one is a uh, our clavicle bone so this fascia is attached to also a clavicle sternum and behind this fascia is packed 
major okay on the lateral side pectoral fascia leaves pect major and becomes axillary fascia here here is arm um, and there this area is axilla consider this area is axilla so on the lateral side pectoral uh, pectoral fascia what uh, what it will do it leaves a uh, pect major and becomes axillary fascia that forms the floor of axilla that forms the floor of axilla okay deep to the pectoral fascia and the pect major the clavicopectoral fascia and other fascia uh, that covers the pect minor okay on the deep to the deep side of the pectoral fascia uh, and the pect major another fascia is present its name is clavicopectoral fascia okay so we can see here that is a pectoral fascia here here that 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 one is a pectoral fascia on the lateral side it becomes axillary fascia that forms the floor of axilla and the above side uh, we can see uh, deltoid fascia is present in uh, uh, Further, we will study about the deltoid fascia, the fascia above the deltoid muscle. And other point about the pectoral fascia is it is uh, during the section of the chest, it is dissected easily, and uh, we can see it on the pect major okay other one is clavicopectoral fascia that one is a uh, clavicopectoral fascia as the from the word clavicopectoral the word clavico means it is related to clavicle and pectoral means it is something related to pectoral so <clears throat> It descends from clavicle, as we can we have read it that uh, pectoral clavicopectoral fascia is present behind the pectoral fascia and pectoralis major. So, in here the in here the uh, clavicopectoral fascia means is that the clavicle ascends uh, descends from the clavicle, enclosing subclavius pectoralis minor and on the inferior side uh, it continues with the axillary fascia okay so uh, the clavicle pectoral fascia can be classified into the two types first one is a costoclavicular uh, costo membrane and second one is a suspensory ligament of axilla so costocoracoid membrane actually these are the parts of uh, clavicopectoral fascia the costoclavicular fascia uh, costocoracoid membrane sorry for that but a uh, costocoracoid membrane the costocoracoid membrane it is a superior part of clavicopectoral fascia and the suspensory ligament is a inferior part of clavicopectoral fascia okay so costocoracoid membrane is present between pect minor subscapular uh, subclavius where is it is present it is present between pect minor and subclavius while suspensory ligament of axilla what is the function of it actually it is a ligament so what is the function of ligament to provide support so suspensory ligament of axilla has function to support axillary fascia and it is also uh, important uh, as uh, it is involved it is involved in forming the uh, armpit we can say it armpit axillary fossa yeah 
suspensory ligament is also important in the formation of axillary fossa okay so here is a deltoid fascia brachial fascia here is a axillary fascia and uh, uh, clavicle pectoral fascia actually uh, behind the uh, pectoral fascia and the pectoralis major uh, behind it the uh, pectoral fascia uh, clavicle pectoral fascia is present here is a pectoral fascia behind it is a pectoralis major and other further we are moving deepest to the body uh, deepest to the uh, pectoral uh, major the clavicle pectoral fascia is present on the inferior side the axillary fascia is present here is a clavicle pectoral fascia is present here on this area the clavicle pectoral fascia is present on the inferior side the axillary fascia is present and on the medial side of axillary fascia the pectoral fascia is present and on the lateral side of pectoral fascia axillary fascia is present okay so as we have read about the two parts of clavicle pectoral fascia first one is a costochoracoid membrane and second one is a suspensory ligament of axilla so that is the suspensory ligament of axilla and that one is the costochoracoid membrane as it is present between two structures as have as we have discussed the pectoralis what was the two structures first one was the pect minor and subclavius okay so here is the muscle subclavius subclavius actually it is a muscle of uh, thorax basically it is present between our clavicle and the first rib here is a subclavius present this muscle is a subclavius okay so where is it present it is present between the first rib and clavicle okay and the costochoracoid membrane is present between the where pectoralis minor and where subclavius okay so suspensory ligament as we can see the suspensory ligament is directly attached to the two uh, segments first one is the uh, and both segments is of axillary fascia we can see it axillary fascia and that one is the axillary fossa okay suspensory ligament is directly attached to the two uh, uh, structures uh, or we can see it the it is directly attached to the two uh, duians uh, uh, and the, these duians are of axillary fascia okay and here is a axillary fossa okay our next fascia is deltoid fascia deltoid as the name um, indicates that deltoid fascia is a fascia that is located above the deltoid muscles okay so deltoid fascia uh, in fact the deltoid fascia above the scapulohumeral muscles like deltoid supraspinatus infraspinatus teres minor major and etc etc okay uh, but uh, supraspinatus and infraspinatus also have their own uh, fascia supraspinous and infraspinous fascia but uh, mainly that uh, we can uh, say the deltoid fascia is above the deltoid muscles okay scapulohumeral muscles means what is the mean of that that the uh, they have um, origin from scapula origin from scapula and 
insertion on humerus humerus bone so that is the scapulohumeral muscles okay so deltoid fascia uh, deltoid fascia is above the deltoid uh, scapulohumeral muscles okay it descends from clavicle acromion scapular spine of deltoid inferiorly continues with anterior aspect of pectoral fascia inferiorly and posteriorly actually these are the uh, boundaries of deltoid fascia we can say that inferiorly it is uh, continuous with the uh, anterior aspect of pectoral fascia and posteriorly it uh, continues with the dense infraspinous fascia okay so here is here is deltoid fascia we have discussed that the deltoid fascia inferiorly continues with the pectoral fascia that one is a pectoral fascia and here is a deltoid fascia okay that is anterior uh, and that is a inferior aspect of deltoid fascia but it is also an anterior aspect of pectoral fascia okay and in our next uh, lecture uh, inshallah we will discuss about the brachial fascia and brachial fascia uh, palmar carpal ligament superficial transverse metacarpal ligament and uh, palmar epineurosis and bicipital epineurosis etc so our today's lecture is end